taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video on Refund RFD, Refund Coin. Uh, my favorite meme coin at the moment okay and the chart is looking very bullish very bullish we're breaking out of a falling wedge or downward sloping resistance okay guys and the last video i talked about we were down here and we actually pumped to here i still haven't sold okay i've only bought more of this token so i made a video over here in the last video as you can see and uh, after that um, i'm not saying that you know it's because of my video it's just be basically because of the chart the fundamentals okay the community but this actually pumped towards this downward sloping resistance we didn't get the breakout we got rejected but we've been holding out okay i haven't sold a single rfd token since i bought way over where did i buy it i bought it way over here way over here okay when i first talked about it i've held it all the way through i've actually bought more so i've got more rfd than what i started out with over here um i've saw this dip as an opportunity to buy more okay guys um, but yeah, we are seeing this begin to creep back up and this is the time to buy. This is the time to accumulate guys in this level right here. This is a beautiful accumulation on the chart in my opinion. Volume peaking in. Okay guys, but I see it's creeping back up to here. I don't want it to go too fast. I want it to take its time. Okay, the longer that it takes, the bigger the move that we get to the upside. But like I said, I see this potentially even going back to if it, if I mean worst case scenario up here if we break this level okay first of course we need to break this level and then we start moving to the upside uh, moving to this mid range and then potentially back to the all time high and the best case scenario is that we break the all time high and we go absolutely crazy okay guys I do have this uh, chart or uh, um, that somebody drew I didn't draw this okay I just took a screenshot of it because this is basically what I'm seeing okay guys so we that's what we're potentially gonna see on this particular chart potentially okay it doesn't have to do this okay guys so take it with a pinch of salt it's just speculation all right guys well based on the community of course we need volume to back this up we need a volume breakout of this level to back this move up okay guys but that for me would be a you know a potential scenario on the refund chart Okay, you gotta to learn to zoom out because if you zoom in, you're gonna look at it like you're gonna look at it like this. Okay, now there's gonna be some pretty big moves or or a pretty big uh, profit potential just within this mid range. Okay, guys, from here alone, from here, in fact, let's just measure this. This is on its own a 30% move. Okay, guys, now from here up to that target up here is alone an 80% move so there's money to be made even in the small range if you want to play it safe okay short-term targets okay but longer term okay and long term doesn't have to be two years long term could be one month okay guys what long term could be three months right long term could be two weeks in a token this with this such a low market cap at 15.5 million uh, but this has 7.2 million in liquidity by the way how many 15 million market cap tokens can say they've got 7.2 million in total liquidity and that's after a huge pullback not many okay guys not many so um yeah still bullish on this particular project okay i've got high hopes for this project all right guys and 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 we have to take one thing into consideration this is on a bunch of exchanges now we, if we see pepe pump we're going to see refund pump in my opinion we're going to see a bunch of old coins meme coins go absolutely crazy if we see shiba doge pepe you know the top uh, meme coins pump we're gonna see things like refund pump and they're gonna pump exponentially more okay guys pepe is sitting at a free uh, what is it it's at a four oh it's, it's down to a 494 million market cap but it's still almost half a billion down from 1.6 billion maybe 1.7 billion it's down okay guys so um you know and no obviously if something like pepe comes down um or which it has done uh uh you know um there is a correlation there's a correlation right now because rfd is on it's on a bunch of exchanges okay if we go to coin market cap okay rfd right rfd let's uh let's make sure we clicked on the actual screen rfd uh refund um what is going on here there's more than one refund let's see rfd make sure you're on the the correct what's going on Make sure you're on the correct RFD chart, okay? Um, oh, you got RFD, BSC, RFD, like, forget these, right? You want refund coin RFD. This is the one you want, okay? Um, 
um, market cap at 15 million. Okay, this is the correct RFD. Okay, now, right, so what we're looking at is the amount of exchanges it's listed on. Okay, there's going to be a correlation because retail or all the people that don't know how to use Uniswap, one inch, um, you know, retail consumers, they're going to be potentially buying and selling this token as well. Okay, guys, so there is a correlation. When it comes to liquidity, when it comes to the market, uh, the market, the, the whole overall impact of the market. Okay, if Bitcoin drops, you're going to see things like this, things like a bunch of the other altcoins, meme coins drop. Okay, if Bitcoin goes up, you're going to see it. But on a bigger scale, you'll see it when the low caps start to pump or start to dump. Okay, so Bitcoin, um, obviously being a blue chip, refunds not a blue chip. Okay, refunds not a blue chip. But um, if Bitcoin starts moving, we'll see the altcoins move a little bit. Then we see, so that's the high caps, and we see the mid cap start to move. Once the low caps start to go nuts, this is going to go nuts as well, in my opinion. Not financial advice, it's just speculation, it's just my opinion. Okay, guys, so that's something you have to bear in mind. You know, there are benefits to listing on a bunch of centralized exchanges. We get the hype. We get the hype coming in, people start buying the token because oh it's going to list on KuCoin oh it's going to list on MEXC oh what about but it might go on Binance next once Binance hits or something like that you start to see uh, this is what this is what happens when Binance hits okay this is what happens when Binance hits this this is what happens to Pepe uh, is buy the rumor sell the news this is the Binance announcement pump Binance list dump okay guys so that's what's going to happen with or that's what happens with things like refund we announcement pump uh, listing pump 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 it's going to be on this exchange and then gets on the exchanges we get dump okay guys now um uh, but but what we will see happen is when uh when we get the pumps we will we will capitalize on those pumps as well so once the market starts to move we will start to see uh refund and other tokens similar listed on a bunch of exchanges start to pump as well of course there's a lot of sec fud there's a uh, the Binance FUD and uh, all that sort of stuff going on right now. So the market's not looking incredible. Bitcoin, I believe, is down to about 26k. Let's have a look. Where's Bitcoin at? Bitcoin sitting at um, drum roll 26.6 uh, thousand dollars. Okay, which is not too bad. Not too bad considering the FUD that we're having. We're not seeing no huge dump. Bitcoin's not dumped all the way back to 22. Um, it could do. It, you know, I mean. It may not be over yet. We don't know. But the hope is, is that we're going to see a recovery. People are going to see this as a sign of strength. And um, people are going to be buying. They're going to be comfortable buying and holding. Specifically altcoins. Okay, guys. So, obviously, the point I'm making is a refund is listed on a bunch of exchanges. So, we're going to get the market impact similar to what we see with the blue chips, the high caps, and things like that. But, um, obviously... The impact will be a lot more on this because it's a lower market cap token. But that has to be said. And there is a Discord now for refund. Okay. It still has Telegram. Okay. The main Telegram, uh, the, the one that was the main Telegram before was turned into an announcement channel. And then this RFD chat was opened as well. 1,229 members. There's a, I know there's a lot more in the announcement channel, which I've got somewhere. Um... This is the announcement channel, 8,975 members. So this was turned into an announcement channel. So you can no longer type in here, but um, they are sharing the links, okay? Um, and they created a Discord, okay? So this is the Discord now, which I've joined recently, and this is where people are chatting. I think the move to Discord is basically, Discord is a little bit more, um, there's a little bit more, it's, it's a bit more, it's a bit easier to control the scammy links and things like that okay guys and it is obviously more advanced than telegram okay um so yeah i guess the community made that executive deci decision decision kind of speak they made that executive decision to because this is a community project right but they made that decision to kind of move kind of over to discord and um, this is the main hub for chat right now okay guys so i'll leave the link in the description for the discord but um yeah, again, if you don't know what this token is, okay, um, this is a, it's just a meme coin, but it's it's basically who created it. Uh, there's trust here, there's community, there's hype, there's speculation, uh, because the creator of this particular token <coughs> is this guy, Blurred or Eve, okay, and he's a hodler. 
Okay, this is just one of his wallets worth 23.4 million. You could go through the assets. If you're not sure how to get here, if you just go to the website, refundcoin.org, okay, and click on Blair Capital, it will take you over to the D Bank and you can check out his statistics, uh, his statistics over here. Since I've been making videos on this, um, it hasn't changed. The balance, ha the, the balance has fluctuated with the market, right? But, you know, None of the assets are being sold or moved around or, you know, and this is, uh, of course, just one of the, the wallets owned by this particular investor. He created a refund, which is why people are bullish on it, because he's got a track record. He's got a, uh, a reputation in the space. Um, I think the, you know, this is his crypto punk. OK, and people that hold crypto punks and NFTs and board apes for a long time, um, for them, it's is it's. it's it's not really, I, 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 I wouldn't say it's not about the money, okay? But it's more about the status, okay? It's about the status and not only that, identity. So without this crypto punk, um, I mean, yeah, this crypto punk is uh, valuable in terms of identity. So Blur.Eth is, um, he's uh, validate, validated by this. Okay, guys, and this is what gives him a presence, um, especially in this particular token. The whole backstory is built around this. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share you my take on this because I'm still bullish on refund. It's been trending hot ever since I first talked about it every single day. Okay, guys, it's number two. Just jumped up from number five over in the last 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so, you know, um, what's going to happen when money starts flowing back into the market you tell me, is this going to be one of the tokens that pumps with it? It's been trending hot. It's trending hot number two right now. Check it tomorrow. It will still be trending hot. The next day, it still be hot. Or I expect it to. It has been for weeks now. So, that's just my take on it, guys. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to leave the links in the description. That's it for this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. This is actually my third or fourth take making this video because my hay fever has got me all bunged up so you might detect that the bunginess in my in my uh speech um you know it's, it's just hay fever okay let me know in the comments if you got hay fever guys but that's it subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications i'll see you in the next video